good morning good morning good morning <laughs> good morning guys how are you guys doing today hi good morning how are you all right so i feel like i have not vlogged in a long time actually you know what i have not vlogged in a long time the last time i vlogged I deleted the vlog just because I didn't complete I didn't complete it. So I deleted the vlog so I didn't upload it. I haven't vlogged in a little bit. Just you know, like it's not easy. Like this YouTube thing, people think that being a YouTuber or vlogging or a vlogger, it's a it's an easy job, including me. That's what I thought. You know, that was my thinking before I let me see. Should I? Should I not? I think I'll do this. Yeah. That was my thinking before I started vlogging. Like, oh, my God, that's all you do. You just hold some camera. Hold the camera across your face. Then you start vlogging and talking trash. <laughs> that was my thinking. But it's not easy, especially if you have a full-time job. And um, you have a family and you want to vlog. It, it's not it's not an easy job yeah i feel like you have to have something interesting to be able to vlog about every day i just can't vlog about the same thing every day like when i go up some people to blog, vlog and i watch their vlog and it seems like they vlog about the same thing every day like you know like you uh, uh, cooking eating family you know and i'm just like my life right now is not that busy enough for me to want to cook every day and vlog every day <laughs> you know i'm a family of three i have a, a little boy who's barely four he's four actually four and um he goes to the daycare i don't even feel like keeping him at home when i'm home i just want to be like ah, bye bye like like bye bye go to daycare let me let me have some time some peace of mind you know so i don't think my life is that interesting enough for me to start blogging every day you know thinking about the idea of even blogging every day so i feel like i only vlog when i feel like vlogging like today i was like you know i have a vlog in a little bit let me vlog today and i'm home by myself i think i have one or two things that i can vlog about you know and uh and aside that it's like i don't know like i'm just getting my feet wet in this youtube street and uh it's it hard it's pretty pretty hard and the competition is very very hard too you know so i'm i only upload now once a week on saturday on saturday and uh i've been thinking about maybe uploading at least twice in a week maybe like on wednesday and on saturday but like i said i feel like i have to have something interesting to want to put on that schedule and meet that schedule to uh, uh, vlog about uh for me to you know be able to do and, and, and post it on those two days if i don't i feel like i'm i'm just stuck like i'm stuck in doing the same thing and the one thing i do not like is doing this like if i'm subscribed to your channel and you do the same thing every day uh i, I would watch your channel but i won't be as glued as if you have uh, if you have new things to vlog about like every day so i don't know but we see, I'm still trying to get my feet wet. And the fact that, and the fact that, you know, I don't know. This YouTube thing is just, it's hard. Anyway, first of all, let's eat. Um, because I'm hungry. A friend of mine told me about this thing right here. This thing right here. And it's called organic, organic grains. If you watch one or two of my vlog, uh, you see that I vlog one time about grains i blend grains every now and then i blend grains every now and then i don't even know if i should turn my light on or leave my light off i don't know which one is good but then i guess they are good okay like i blend grains every now and then so she told me about this bad boy about this bad boy right here and uh, when i say that I don't even know like i don't eat grains like that like i will eat grains but is it, it is hard for me to incorporate grains in my diet every day and i'm trying to work on it i'm trying really hard to work on it uh just because i'm anemic I, i'm a little bit anemic i'm not like full-blown 
anemia patient, but I'm a little bit anemic. And uh, my anemia sometimes fluctuate depending on my diet, so which is good. So if I eat all my diet, if I uh, eat all my balanced diet, my uh, anemia level is right, like usually on the average uh, um, uh, uh, iron level for a female, for a black female. Two different things. When you are a, a Caucasian and black, uh, black people tend to suffer from anemia compared to uh, people of Caucasian color, and uh, which means women, black women, are more prone to being anemic uh, because of period um, um, uh, secret cell anemia. Even black women are more prone to being anemic compared to um, black men. So Caucasian uh, 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 community have less... Uh, I don't know. I have less uh, chances of being an of being an enemy compared to a um, black community. So I try to eat the balanced diet. So if I eat my balanced diet, my anemia level is usually like on the average, you know, on the average uh, volume. When I don't, when I skip, uh, when I skip, um, when I skip all the balance, when I skip balanced diet, I don't know how to put it. When I skip meals or something like that. <laughs> When I skip the necessary nutrient, when I skip the necessary nutrient, I my anemia level is always low, and I'll start feeling it. Like I'll feel pale, I'll feel tired, I'll feel sleepy. You know, I'll start looking not feel pale, looking pale, and sleepy and tired, and uh, drinking a lot of water, just because my uh, anemia level is low. So. I've been to doctors many times, and when you go, they tell you, they tell me to, they usually prescribe me an iron pill, or they tell me to get on my bandwagon for my multivitamin. And I, lo I love multivitamins because it makes me eat, what, like it makes me crave the ones I've used, including prenatal vitamins. Those things make me crave things that I would not eat on a, on a, on a regular day. Like I can go ahead and take my vitamin now, and the next thing you know, I'm going to start craving me some, some salad. I'm going to start craving salmon. I'm going to start craving things that I would not eat on a regular day. So, but still, I'm still not on, I'm still not on like I need to be. Like, uh, I figure like it's, it, it, you have to be disciplined for you to wake up every day. Make sure you eat your grains or blend your grain or drink your grains. However you want to balance out your, uh, your, your, your sack, your, uh, <clears throat> your pyramid of food. Like it's a pyramid. <laughs> it's a pyramid every day. However you want to balance it, you have to be actually be disciplined. I can week now, and it actually really, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It works. I don't know. But I've been incorporating this in my meal. Uh, I bought this from Walmart, and it was for $14.99. Yep. Exactly $16 on the dot, something like that. This is not the one my friend recommended. The one she recommended, I couldn't find it, but I found this is so close and similar to it. And this is from Walmart. I think they have it on Amazon anyway. So if you're suffering from anemia or if you feel like um, you're not eating enough greens, I think this is a good substitute for your greens in a day. And this has five organic vegetables, veg, vegetables, vegetables, <laughs> vegetables, <laughs> five organic veg, vegetables, <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Eight organic fruit, six organic oil seed grains, fourteen organic sprout, sprout, wheat, um, uh, and barley grasses. Eighteen vitamins, and minerals, contain superfood, active uh, probiotic, source of anti uh, antioxidant, and vitamin C and E. Yeah, is a tapioca, and I soaked it. I soaked this. some suya pepe was because if you live in the u.s or if you live in any part of the world that is not nigeria and we tend to crave for our food right we tend to crave for 
uh, if that if you love Nigerian food. Some people, some Nigerians do not like Nigerian food. They rather eat uh, um, uh, continental food, Western Union food. <laughs> the Western Union. Bo <laughs> Western food. Uh, con we call it continental. Madam Continental. <laughs> Anywho, I am a big fan of my Nigerian food. Sometimes the street, sometimes the street food that we eat back home, you can't find them here. Even when you try to make it, make it, make it by substituting what you got down here, it just doesn't taste the same. So I sat down. I was like, you know what? It is my birthday. Actually, you know what? It was my birthday. I forgot to say that. It was my birthday on uh, Monday. On Monday, and I walked. Anywho, I was thinking, you know what? It's time for me to. Um, my, it's my birthday. I want to make some barbecue. I've never uh, had a barbecue party before. I'm trying to make some. I'm trying to gather people together and have a barbecue party. I said, like, you know what? We need suya. Like, we need barbecue. We need suya. You know, so I sat down and I was like, you know what? I can make my own suya, baby. The last time I checked, before I left home, this thing is made from a groundnut, from a peanut, like a peanut grounded, and just adding spices. So, you know, I did my little research and I boom, boom. This is how you make it. So I made some and it came out really good. I have the video right up here on my channel. If you haven't watched it, click on it. I will go ahead and add, uh, add the link to my uh, to this video if I can. Because I figure out some things I just cannot do because I don't have that much subscribers yet. So some, some things I'm just limited to just to doing. I don't know, but it's on my channel. You guys can watch it. <laughs> Make what is done. Make what is finished. Oh, boom, boom. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Talking about. I just remember something. I just remember something. Okay, so this past week, this past week, last week, I didn't feel good. Okay, I I had body aches, and that was on Wednesday. Last week, Wednesday, I was at work. I had body aches. My body ached a little bit. And I just felt tired and I was just like, oh, I don't feel good. Like I'm not coming back to work the next day because I was supposed to come back to work the next day. So I didn't go back to work the next day. I called out and because I didn't feel good. So that Thursday when I called out, I was home. I was relaxed. I slept a little longer. I got up really late and I felt, you know, I felt a little different. Anyway, the next day after that, it was a Friday. Okay. I was initially off. And on my off day on Friday, I started feeling this sniffling, like my throat was feeling like I was coming out with a sore, sore throat, but I didn't come out with fully blown sore throat, but it felt like I was coming out with something. And uh, my nose was stuffy, uh, like, uh, you know, like it's sneezing every now and then, like I would sneeze out really loud. And now I'm an allergy sufferer, like I suffer from allergies. And some days on my uh, at my uh, fan or uh, event, I dust it to a particular point. It makes me sneeze. Now that my AC is even hot right now, so if the vent is dirty, if the vent is uh, 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 not the vent, what do you call it? Whatever they call that thing, they prevent dust from escaping. When it's when it needs to be changed or when it's dirty. I sneeze, so I was pinpointing it to those things. Like, oh, like the, the fan is dirty. I need to clean my fan. I need to vacuum my rugs because you know it's it's and it is dusty. And it's not even allergy moment. Allergy season. Allergy season is gone. The only time I sneeze really hard, when my allergies do come out really hard, is during pollen season. During I mean spring, and and that has been gone. And the weather has changed, and it's getting hot and hotter and hotter. And I'm just like, why am I sneezing? I just couldn't figure out why I was still sneezing. Then on Saturday, I sneezed like all day. Then on Sunday, I started running nose. My nose started running. 
I was sneezing. Anyway, it felt like I had allergies. Okay, so I went to work on Monday. When I was at work on Monday, my voice started hoarsing. Uh, the hoarseness in my voice was getting stronger. I started noticing some hoarseness in my voice on Sunday, right? Uh, Sunday at night when I was trying to go to sleep. And my husband was actually making fun of me. And anyway, for me, every time I... Um, every time I suffer from allergy, like when my allergies comes out, my voice get really hoarseness, you know, get really horsey, and I will sound loud or like a guy, you know. So I was just like, it's okay, you know, it's fine. This is not new to me. So I went to work on Monday and I could barely talk. And I was literally just screaming out loud when I'm talking to somebody. It's like they can't understand what I was saying because my voice was really hoarsey. You can tell it's actually cleared out. And um, anyway, that went by all day on Monday, and uh, at evening time, my manager said, don't you feel like you want to get tested for the COVID-19? I was like, uh, why? Uh, she said, because first of all, you sound like you're running out of, you're like, you're running out of breath. I was like, I'm not running out of breath. I just came around the corner. I actually did just literally walked around the corner to go to where she was. And she said, well, I've known you for a little bit. No one walks around the corner and start feeling like the way you feel like you are out of breath. I said, I don't think so. Anyway, she pushed me and she said, I need to get tested for COVID-19. So I went to go get tested for COVID-19 on Tuesday. She took me off the schedule and encouraged me to go get tested for COVID-19. And I understand why, because even me, myself, I've been kind of dreading it, dreading it about testing it, testing myself for the virus. I work in the hospital. I, I've worked around people with, who are COVID-19 positive. And it, it, it just, I don't know, just wearing masks and all of that can prevent you, can reduce the measure of your of your med, of your exposure, but not 100% completely prevent you from getting the virus, but it can prevent a certain point, you know? Um, anywho. So I went there on Tuesday and when I said that this test is the most uncomfortable test ever, that I have ever done, aside someone poking me with a needle, okay, in my vein, through my vein. And this is what they do. They get like a little long, I've seen it before. I work in the hospital. I've held down somebody's head, a patient's head, so they can get tested for the virus because some people just refuse to say no, okay? And um, if they need to get it done, we have to find a way to get it done for them so they can get tested and see what's going on with them. And sometimes we go through the high measures. Especially if it's a confused person, we hold them down and just go their head and just get it done, you know? And anyway, so I know how it looks. So I wasn't like excited to go get it done, you know, but I had to. So I went down there and it's the most uncomfortable test ever. My husband, my husband got it done too, and he told me, and I thought he was just exaggerating. I'm like, well, why are you always exaggerating? Like, why are you exaggerating? But he's not. That guy was right. They take out this really long, uh, long, uh, uh, a tube, not tube, long, um, what do you call those things? Those things you put in your ears, the, uh, uh, swab. It's a swab. It is a swab. It's a long swab. Okay, that has like a cotton board around it, cotton head around it, like those, like those, um, for whatever that thing is called, that you use for, that you use for your hairs, to clean out your hairs, and it's long, okay, and there's some chemical around it, around that particular tip, so that you go there, and of course, the nurse, whoever is doing it, you're all gowned up in uh, uh, asthma suits and stuff like that, and they tell you to tilt your head backwards, <laughs> they give you tissue, okay. So when you sneeze, you can sneeze in your tissue. And I tilted my head back, my head backwards, and she kind of lifted my my chin just a little bit, and tell me to close my eyes, and they just put it in, put it in. You can feel it actually in your throat, and they kind of you know like, like twist it around and remove it. it. Takes about maybe thirty seconds, but those thirty seconds, maybe less than that, are the most uncomfortable, okay. The most is the most uncomfortable 30 seconds you will ever feel okay in your lifetime if you had to get COVID-19 test okay it is horrible it's not the most pleasant when I left that building and I walked out oh my god my throat started burning I was even sneezing more hard like harder than usual I started sneezing a little bit more harder 
I started running nose. My nose started running and I started blowing and my eyes was just watery, you know. That lasted for but maybe five, ten minutes, you know, for that day. And it just wasn't comfortable. It just was not comfortable. It wasn't the most comfortable test that I would tell anyone to go get done, okay? But I had to do it. So now I'm, I'm waiting for my result. Uh, the result usually comes out between 24 to 48 hours. So today is Thursday. And I got this done on Tuesday. So hopefully I get this result back today. And I can tell you guys, because I was going to talk about this and I totally forgot. And this is like last minute. <laughs> so... I'm going to show you guys, tell you guys about it when I get my results and what my, my results are. I'm praying it's negative because I've, I really do not feel like staying home or being quarantined for two weeks if it's positive. Because I need to work. I need money. I need like a day or two extra on my check, you know, and I need to work. You know, that's just it. I mean, when I'm home, I can use my PTO time to get paid or my sick time to get paid. But I do not feel like I want you to be positive so I can stay home for the next two weeks, you know. But anyway, we see what we do. We see, we see how it goes, how it turns out. I get the result today, and I'm going to share with you guys when I get it. But my thing is now, people feel like they don't have to wear masks out there. They don't have to protect themselves against the virus. They feel mask is not doing what it needs to do or what the, the mask can prevent you from getting the virus. Yes, the mask cannot prevent you from getting the virus, but it can reduce your exposure to a certain percentage. Like study actually shows that 30%, like the, the mask can prevent you from getting the virus 30%, you know, like 30%. Like if I can get, if I can have 30% of uh, 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 preventing me from getting this virus, I would take it compared to having a zero chance, like you just have a zero chance, you don't have no chance at all, you're gonna go either and expose yourself to the virus. And majority of young people like me, who has the virus, don't know it, asymptom asymptomatic, are the ones passing these viruses to their elderly parent, elderly grandparent, who, ha who has underlying condition. So like, I don't understand why people don't wanna wear masks. Yes, it does get really hard to breathe under those masks. Even though I'm at work, sometimes we have to wear it at work. Like, it's mandatory for us to put our mask on. So we wear it, like, literally all day. Now, imagine if you just, if only you have to just put it on when you go to the store, when you, just like when you're outside, that's the only time you get to put it on. When you're in, in the comfort of your own home, you do not have to put it on. So I do not see the problem compared to those of us who actually work in the medical field. And we have to wear this for, for the next 12 hours, Okay. 12 hours, 36 hours in a week, we have to wear this mask. And sometimes when I'm at work, I literally have to like take it. I'm like, oh, I have to breathe. Yes, it does get really heated and hot right here when you have the mask on. But you can take it off in, in and out, like in between hours at work. Like we take it off and we just take it with that. Then we put it back on, you know. So what I will advise people to try to wear their mask. If you if you're gonna be out there, you know, especially if you're going to the store. Like the store is so crowded right now. I went to the mall the other day, and it was I was surprised at at the people that were at the mall. It was packed. It was a lot of people. Like you could barely move. You could barely move around. So I went in there real quick and I just left because I just was not gonna be having any, anything to do with those crowd. And I didn't even have my mask on. That was I'm like nah, this is not gonna happen. So wear your mask. Like protect yourself. Protect others by, wear, by wearing your mask. So, I mentioned some of my results. I don't know if I want to say, but I want to see what it is. I feel like it's going to be negative, okay? I don't know. A part of me feels like it. And also, a part of me also feels like it's going to be positive because I've been exposed to people who have uh, COVID-19. And now, these symptoms that I just explained, that I was having like a allergy, allergy-like symptoms, the mayor of ATR, the mayor of uh, uh, Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottom, she tested positive. She felt that she was having allergy symptoms because she's an allergy sufferer. And that was exactly the same way I was feeling, the same, exactly the same way I felt because I felt like I had allergies, but I, I guess not because the symptoms keep changing day by day. People are reporting something new day by day and they're testing positive for the virus. So it, 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 it can be anything. It can be any type of symptoms for you. As going to be a sign that you have COVID-19, like the allergy symptoms. Okay, now if you have some more underlying condition, 
this will even make it more difficult for you because you're going to you're going to get sicker your chances of getting sicker is higher compared to someone who do not have any underlying condition so you guys protect yourself and i will see you guys in my next vlog you guys have a great day when i get the results i'll let you guys so that'll be it for today enjoy and have a nice day bye bye and also do not forget to subscribe <laughs> do not forget to subscribe to this, to this channel and give this video a thumbs up bye 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 mommies bye daddies let me sound like my son see you guys next time bye